Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, guys. It's been such a long time since I uploaded a new video. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I took a little break from YouTube after uploading consistently in April. I wanted to give myself a little breather, a little time to relax, rejuvenate, and then come back strong. So we are back, okay? Regular schedule is back. We're gonna be uploading lots and lots of content. My aim is to do four to five videos a week. So stay tuned, okay? If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe to our wonderful family. We are on the road to 100K and honey, we can do it. We can definitely do it. We got a couple of months left and I mean 30% of you watch this channel and don't subscribe so go ahead and subscribe because why not if you love the content so thank you so much for all of your love and support and for those of you who were super patient but today we are back with a brand new video and it is all of the things fragrances we're going to talk about some juicy stunning fragrances that are dear to my heart and they are my top 10 for life it's been so long since I sat down to film that it feels a little weird. So if my thought process is all over the place, forgive me. I'm getting slowly into the rhythm of things once again. But I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. Definitely comment down below how you guys are feeling and all of that good stuff. You guys know that I love chatting with y'all. But today I'm going to talk about my top 10 for life. And this is designer edition, okay? Because I really want to balance on this channel when it comes to price point i want to give you guys something that you can work with whether it's niche and whether it's designer i have taste with everything so we're going to talk about all of my favorite designers right now fragrances that i know i will always have in my collection i might not use them as much as i used to but they'll always remain in my collection because i love the smell of them maybe i have a sentimental uh, connection with them so let's chat fragrances and definitely let me know the ones that I'm talking about which ones are your favorite in the comment section so let's start with one of my favorites that is very very close to my heart you guys know how I feel about this fragrance and why if you haven't watched that video check out my video on my most memorable scents this is Chloe Nomad and oh my lord this beauty over here of a fragrance is stunning it's so unique it's very very lavish elegant it really does smell like a go-getter like a sophisticated woman that is out there doing her thing honey and i just love love this scent even though it's been around for such a long time i only got introduced to this scent last year and i was so surprised that i didn't hear more people talking about this one because it's so gorgeous now there is an intense version which i haven't actually tried personally but i definitely do want to but the original one is perfection honestly perfection this is stunning if you want an elegant fragrance could be easily a signature scent because i feel like you can wear this all year round oh it's so beautiful there's an oak moss note in here that's quite noticeable and i think it just gives that like almost like an earthy touch to the scent but everything about this is balanced it's not too sweet it's not too this that that it's just perfection um i did see a comment saying that someone found this a little bit on the masculine side and when i smell it i totally understand where you're coming from especially those who feel like ysl libre is a little bit masculine it's kind of like what i'm understanding with this one but to me it's just elegance in a bottle it's sophistication it is a boss like vibe if you want to smell like a boss look no further this is chloe nomad and here is a beautiful close-up of that bottle my nails are not done and we're just gonna ignore that honey okay we're gonna talk about a fragrance that um i probably consider this a little controversial because there's a lot of negativity surrounding this fragrance a lot a lot of people saying that this is cheap trashy 
but honestly i feel like with fragrances there is time and a place for everything certain fragrances i wouldn't wear to every occasion and this one is one of them i still love it i don't wear it as much but i still love it and will remain in my collection i definitely have a kind of a sentimental value to it because it was one of my first like big girl fragrances and this is black opium from ysl so honey if you wear this fragrance girl rock on this is beautiful i mean it's beautiful i don't understand the negativity surrounding this fragrance because i still really like it i still find it pleasant i still find it very sexy and provocative a little alluring this is not your like ooh girly fragrance springtime in the park this is a little bit more sexy and i think that there is a place for the scent and it still works beautifully i find that the longevity on this one lasts really well on me i love this for date nights my husband loves this scent because it's everything that you need in a sexy scent it's a little bit deep there's coffee in here it's sweet it's girly flirty so i don't know I, I i really am trying to understand all the negativity behind black opium but i still really like it and it will remain in my collection pretty much forever because it's good i mean to me it's good it's not like one of my top favorite scents of all time it's not something that i grab for every occasion but you know if i'm feeling a little a little sexy I'm gonna wear this and I think it's beautiful honestly I think it's great and um, it's been around for so long so it definitely tells you that a lot of people are into this fragrance not the most unique scent you will smell other people wearing this but girl if you're going out for cocktails if you're going for a date night if you're going to a bar to a club um, black opium will do the job I like it I really do like it okay moving on to another scent this one took me quite a long time to add to my collection i actually really disliked this scent for years and it wasn't until late last year that i really kind of like a switch went off and i fell in love with it and this is the type of scent that i can't wear for every occasion every moment um, that's what I noticed about it. I have to really kind of be in the mood for this scent, but when I am in the mood, I love it. This is Chanel's Coco EDP, and it is just classic. It's a classy scent. It's elegant. It's a little bit more mature, sophisticated. It's beautiful, but I will say you have to be prepared for the scent it's like it's it's weird with with coco i feel like people come to a journey in their fragrance um journey <laughs> and then they kind of like there's something that goes off and they just fall in love with the scent honestly because if you showed me this scent probably two years ago i would have been like hell's nah but now i just love it the bottle is absolutely one of a kind it's absolutely gore just like i love this on my vanity it's so pretty and the scent oh, the scent is beautiful this is definitely your very strong white floral fragrance it, it is a little powdery it's mature like 100 percent. if anyone says that this is not a mature scent i don't know what they're smelling but to me this smells quite mature but it's so elegant that i feel like if i am dressed up in all black like i'm talking a very beautiful black dress it's not super sexy but more elegant i feel like this would fit that so well it's just classy classy elegance in a bottle i really do like it a lot <sighs> And it's one that just it has to win your heart at the right time because if it doesn't you will not be into it you'll feel like this smells too vintage which i felt like for a long time but my taste for fragrances has definitely changed a lot and i'm more open to trying out different things and this is one that like it's comforting in a way but super elegant like sometimes i'll just want to smell it and just 
oh and it smells so good but i can't wear this super casually i feel like this is one that when i wear this i want to be really dressed up um i want to have a place to go to and it just is a beauty in a bottle like it's just it's gorgeous for if anything you just you want it because of the bottle like the bottle will definitely get you but <laughs> i really really like this scent and it will always be in my collection we actually have quite a few classic scents in here ones that have been around for a really long time and i'll go on to that next one that's been around for a long time again another one that is a little bit more mature but not as mature as coco i find um more age groups can appreciate this one and this is guerlain more guerlain um i always say that wrong i apologize but uh, i still have a huge bottle of it and it's just beautiful like this is a very comforting scent it's very relaxing soothing very approachable um there is lavender in here and the note the lavender note in here i don't find it super in your face you can smell it it's definitely prominent but it's a very comforting soft lavender as opposed to like say ysl libre the lavender in that one is very loud you know but this one it's just it's comforting it's it's elegant it's soft it's gentle it definitely has a little bit more of a mature vibe but i just love this one especially oh especially if i'm just out of the shower this is a gorgeous scent to go to bed with it's really really beautiful and it's just non-offensive like i find this one very very approachable and um again even though it is a little bit more on the mature side i find quite a few age groups tend to enjoy this fragrance a lot and I just love this one there is the intense version but i definitely prefer the original one i feel that it just sits better on the skin it wears nicely throughout the day and it's just a little bit more of what i'm looking for honestly but this is beautiful like gorgeous gorgeous signature scent 100 like i've already named quite a few um signature scents right over here they're just beautiful scents that you can wear and feel incredible this is another one but i specifically really really love this for bedtime it's beautiful okay we got quite a few to still go through so let's get into it this is a scent that is for the ladies that love a gorgeous sweet gourmand fragrance okay you want that sweet 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 this is gonna give it to you and this is kaoli vanilla 28 honey this scent right over here is a beauty okay i just love this scent not only on its own but when you layer this with so many other scents it just adds that perfect amount of depth and sweetness into a fragrance and creates magic um a lot of people comment that my bottle is very very dark the juice I don't know why i do um understand that vanilla fragrances especially if they're using raw vanilla like true vanilla they do start to deepen up quite a bit and it has happened with this bottle as well as my um mfk's um gentle fluidity gold that one has deepened up quite a bit but to me it i i think it's just like oh it just made it intense like i know it shouldn't switch up the juice and like the concentration and the smell but when i smell this it definitely smells a lot deeper and richer than the original bottle that i had but i just i'm a diehard fan for vanilla 28 like if you don't have this one just get it but again you have to like super sweet fragrances but if you don't like it on its own you can always layer it with other fragrances that don't have enough femininity enough um sweetness and you will love this one like i i wake up in the morning sometimes and i'm just gonna and i just spray it and i'm like oh this is twilly dermes i can never say that bottom line right there so i'm just going to show you guys the bottle and it will be written on the screen probably but look at that bottle isn't that adorable i love this one this is a gorgeous scent i mean peppery like there's this like very deep peppery note in here i don't know what the specific note is but it's definitely a spicy fragrance but it smells very elegant and very like luxe oh honey i feel like this fragrance you can definitely pull it off for 
different types of season like in the winter this pairs beautifully because it has that peppery that spiciness in there that really works nicely with the colder months but then again springtime vibes i get it from this fragrance also so it's definitely something that you can wear as a signature scent oh instantly you get this citrusy bright tone when you smell it spiciness is in your face it's a fresh floral but with a lot of depth and character like it's just not your average fresh floral it's there's so much more to this fragrance the next fragrance i raved about so much like so so much i talked about this one <laughs> it's kind of been put away because you know we got in the colder months but now that it's starting to warm up i've been eyeing this one a lot it's my favorite i talked about it in my last year's top 10 for life and i'm gonna mention it again this is prada la femme and i love this one this is one of my favorite soapy clean fragrances like you just feel very clean very fresh very well put together and there's this like elegance to it also it is so so gorgeous if you love a fragrance that doesn't smell like a traditional perfume like floral and musky it it has more of a soapy clean vibe this is a great option oh my god wow i almost broke this bottle <laughs> it is beautiful and a lot of these scents you know they've been put away because of the season i'm losing what arm i'm gonna wear i'm gonna put this on but I mean, when I smell them, I just remember why I love them so much. Oh, honey, 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 get this one, get this one. If you don't have this one, get it. Mind you, it is a fragrance that is very just fresh, clean, soapy, but I mean, something about it, there's a bit of a sweet, musky vibe in the dry down. Oh, hot, hot days right here vacation vibes right here even though it's not like your traditional vacation tropical fragrance this has vacation vibes written on all over it because it smells clean and fresh and put together and elegant and rejuvenated it has a little bit of a modern um twist to it oh i love it i love this one it's very approachable super wearable it's not aggressive or too loud it is just a great smelling fragrance that you make you feel fresh and clean like fresh and clean but done in the most perfect way we have a new one we definitely have a new one and i actually have two from the same brand oh three from the same brand oh my god girl definitely love the fragrances from giorgio armani i feel like i feel like they do gorgeous fragrances like just wearable beautiful fragrances you know what i mean you're not looking for too much you're not looking for so much intensity so much complexity is that a word <laughs> anyways i'm getting a little too excited but i definitely feel like armani does beautiful fragrances this is my way and it was released i believe last year and i love this fragrance so much it just smells like feminine it smells very very feminine to me <sighs> yes in the dry down i say this all the time but in the dry down is where you're going to pick up on that beautiful deep vanilla in this fragrance not so much in the opening it is just a beautiful crowd pleasing scent like anyone that's around you is going to enjoy smelling the scent it's bright it's fresh it's sweet it's very like happy almost like this scent makes me feel very happy it, it lifts my mood um quite easily and it just smells stunning i actually have two bottles that's why this one looks like it hasn't even been touched i have a smaller bottle upstairs in my room that i wear um mainly i accidentally opened both of them but oh my god the opening almost gives you more of like this fruity, tropical fruity vibe. In the dry down, you're going to get more of the floral notes and then you're going to get that kick of vanilla. Honey, stunning. I love this one and it will always be in my collection. It's so beautiful. 
It's a scent that you can wear all year round. It works beautifully on me during the colder months because I wore this quite a bit during December and January. And now that we're transitioning into the warmer days, I still see myself wearing this and it wears beautifully and Oh, it's so gorgeous. It's one that my husband really likes on me and he has complimented me quite a bit with this fragrance. He definitely feels like it's a beautiful one. So love that one, My Way. Another um, Armani one. I actually have two from the same kind of like lineup and that is from the C lineup. Like I'm not mentioning La Parfum because it is discontinued even though sometimes you can get it online. But I'm mentioning the ones that you can get online like readily available at Sephora, Hudson's Bay and all that good stuff. I believe Shoppers Drug Mart maybe maybe I'll link it down below but C I have a, an entire video on the entire C lineup. I find that C is just beautiful so I have the original and I have C Fiore. I had to include C Fiore because I just feel like C Fiore is one of the most angelic fragrances that I own like it really smells so sweet so girly and just like oh like it, it reminds me of like pink clouds does that make sense I hope that makes sense it reminds me of like rosé champagne it just oh it smells so good like so so good I'm so glad that I have the larger bottle because I douse myself in this fragrance actually let me just wear as my scent of the day because I didn't put anything on yet mm, it is like cotton candy vibes girly like the the bottle really does resemble the scent it is so beautiful so feminine and suave and just like elegant and with a smile not showing too much teeth you know when you smile and you're just like pretty that's what, <laughs> that's this fragrance over here you're not like you know giving all of it you're just like a little flirty oh it's so beautiful it is beautiful if you love your girly feminine scents that are just like very feminine in a way that it's really hard to describe like just sweet and beautiful like a nice person you know when you meet a really nice person they're just genuine and nice and you just love being around them because they give you that nice vibe this is it right here positive vibes fragrance yeah if you want a positive vibe just put this on you, you, you definitely will change your, your mindset once you wear that one. <laughs> I'm so dramatic. And then we have the original C. This is classic, okay? It's been around for such a long time and it's still an amazing bestseller because it's just good. You know, you know, like there are some fragrances that are just good. Please don't touch them. Leave them the way that they are. This is C right over here. It is just good it's approachable it's crowd pleasing it's feminine it's sweet it's fruity not fruity it's more like floral fruity i want to say yeah floral fruity and it just smells good like you you wear this and you really don't have anything to complain about oh yeah it has a fruity floral vibe there's black currant in here i believe there's vanilla in here Oh, it's just, it's stunning. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. Um, I mean, if you're just looking for a good scent that smells really nice, this is a really, really good one. Let's go on to this one over here. This is Flora Botanica from Balenciaga. This is one of my most unique kind of fresh scents. Love this for summertime. Like if you're looking for the perfect summer fragrance that is just fresh, but very unique, very potent, this is it right here. Normally when it comes to freshies, I find that they don't last that long. Um, they're not, um, they don't project that loud. This is on a whole other level. This is beast mode in a bottle, but fresh. Like it's so, so nice. Oh yeah. It smells like a wet garden. You get the hits of the greenery in there. You get the floral notes in there. Rosiness is in there. Definitely a lot of rose. It's fresh. It's wet. It's clean. It is really beautiful. Not too feminine, but definitely has a little bit of feminine touch, but it's not overly girly, I want to say. Oh, if you don't have this one, get it, get it. But you have to like your floral scent, specifically rose. Um, 
yeah, it, it's definitely very prominent in the fragrance. It is very prominent, but it's done in such a beautiful way that even if you don't like rose, you might end up really enjoying this one. So maybe get yourself a sample, but it's a beautiful one. So that wraps up my top designer fragrances for life these are the scents that like i just hold dear to my heart i think that they're beautiful um i find that i can fit something in for any occasion and they are just beautiful on their own but some of them layered together go stunning so hope you guys enjoyed this video and saw something new and cool today definitely leave your comments down below i would love to hear your thoughts on some of these fragrances especially black opium how do we feel about black opium please let me know in the comment section. I want to know, but let's be respectful. Okay, fragrances are very, very personal, guys. Let's be respectful. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you know anyone that loves fragrance videos, go ahead and feel free to share. And I will see you all in the next video. Ciao!